Hey Simleys, it's Delicracy here, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Barbie Season 3, Episode 7. And yeah, in the last part we aged up Onyx and Pearl. Uh, I took a little break from videos, so we've been waiting like over a week for this next part to come out, and I'm so ready for Barbie to have her baby! Hopefully babies, because we've been trying to have twins for three seasons now, and or two seasons and a bit, and... I just, I just really hope that she has babies. She's in her second trimester and I gave her some new maternity wear. So she is wearing a new dress. This is some CC hair that I put on her uh, just for a bit of a change. And why is Ken looking so worried? I don't know, maybe he's been thinking a lot about Margie. Uh, but she's made some beautiful fruit parfait. Parfait? Well, I don't know. How, what is it? Fruit parfait? Is that what it's called? So we're just having a little bit of a family family breakfast here um ruby is checking out pearl checking out her fashion sense maybe uh we were saying that ruby probably would be quite jealous of pearl now that she's aged up pearl is very pretty she's really got um a lot going for her and i think ruby would be very intimidated by that so i'm just gonna go to pearl and be a little bit rude to her maybe just give her a little bit of a jab insult her a little bit and uh, tease. And maybe we'll get Jem to be the nice big brother and just tell Ruby to maybe... Uh, what can we do here? Can we maybe get him to be a little bit mean back and give her an insult saying, why are you being so mean to Pearl, you know? Oh, she's kind of escaped before he could, so... Oh well. That's okay. So Pearl and Onyx have aged up. I've given them both glasses. Uh, I love Onyx's look. A lot of you guys were saying that you thought it would be nice for Onyx and Pearl to be a little, a little bit more casual and less, uh, less intense in their and fashionable in their dress sets. So um, there was one comment that really stood out to me. I'll try and find it. <laughs> uh, I think it was. Yeah, Bluebird0509 said, For Onyx, I can see him wearing plain clothes, but with a lot of edginess or preppy-esque style for them. For Pearl, very plain, but also elegant clothes. White dresses, lace gloves, those kind of things, and add her glasses back. So that was one comment, which I kind of liked part of it in terms of Pearl being elegant and Onyx being very plain. Uh, but also I read someone else said that... Um, Onyx should be just like wearing Converse shoes and stuff. And I don't know. I just thought that was kind of cool for him. So he's, he's definitely not over the top or anything. He's, he's just chill. He's just him. He's not showing off by what he wears. He's not showing off his family's money or fame. He's just doing his own thing. So yeah. Anyways, it's Saturday. Everyone's feeling pretty sleepy. So I think we're going to have a little bit of nap time. <laughs> nap. Is our power off? Oh my god, the power company has shut off the power to your house. Pay your bills to get turned back on. <gasps> That's so embarrassing. Jem, do you want to maybe pay the bills? <laughs> pay the bills. $26,000. Thank god we have Margie's, uh, Margie's money in the bank. Um, so let's get a little bit of a sleep time for you. And let's see. Um, oh good, the power's back on. Thank goodness. Uh, also, Jem needs a little bit of a sleep. They're all just so exhausted after the birthday, so good to to get some rest in. And Onyx particularly is super tired. Uh, we also need to get Ruby to go to sleep as well. And you guys wanted Wolfgang to be made over too. So if he happens to call by again, I think we'll give him a makeover. But to be honest, I don't think him and Ruby are working. I just don't think he's that interested. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should ditch him. We also need to get to know Margot a little bit better with Jem because I think they're a really cute couple. Uh, Honey was just, he just treated Honey really badly. I don't think he deserves Honey at all. Oh, Ken's actually not feeling too badly. Let's get him to work on the rocket ship. Uh, let's continue installing the, what was that? Installing uh, Eon or Iron Cannon Defense System. Is that meant to say Iron? Do you guys spell iron differently in America? <laughs> I don't think so. Eon Cannon Defense System. There we go. Working away. Everyone's having a little snoozy. Good stuff. Good stuff. And I want Jem to really work on his uh, his 
business career because let's be honest, he's only level three. He's had the job for a while. I mean, he's getting there. He's got excellent, um, <laughs> he's got excellent work ethic. But I think what we need to do is actually fill out some reports, then get that logic skill up, and uh, you know, get him well on his way to earning his own money. Because it would be good if he could move out, like get it, get a wifey, move out, be able to support a family. That would be really good. So. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, uh, I rarely know. There we go. Where to find out, fill out reports. I feel like it should be under writing, but it never is. <laughs> All right, Jem, that's enough sleeping for you. You've got, um, got yourself into the green. Oh, he's feeling flirty. Well, maybe we'll have to, uh, catch up with Margo sooner than I thought. Pearl, on the other hand, she's, she really needs a job as well. She I think she should have a part-time uh, job. I mean, not like an adult job, obviously, but like a part-time yes, job. No. Yes. Um, hmm. And what's her? She's, wait, she's a C student. <gasps> that is not okay. That is not okay. Let's get her to buy. We need to buy her. Uh, we need to get her, her homework book. And I feel like she's the type of girl to want to be really prepared for when she starts high school. So she would have done all of her studying already. So let's purchase some high school books. Uh, where are they? Squirrel, 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 squirrel. There we go. Let's get two of those. One for her, one for Onyx. And, uh, should be in the bookshelf, right? Thanks for ordering. Okay, we'll put one, let's get rid of that. Let's put one on her desk. Why are there so many, so many of these? Yes, I would like to sell that item. We don't need that, don't need that. And then Onyx, maybe she's put one on Onyx's desk. <laughs> uh, oh, Onyx has his computer on his desk. Hmm. We'll just kind of put it outside his door or maybe over here, she would have brought him one. She'd be like, Onyx, let's wake him up and say, I got you a present. <laughs> okay, wake up. Wake up, Jeff. He doesn't lock his door. His room's so different to hers. <laughs> like, I also decided for her not to wear gloves because I just thought they looked a little weird on her. I, and I didn't want her to be so, so super high hygienic. I, I still want her to appear like a happy sim, you know. Um, and I felt like it was a bit intense. He's like, why did you wake me up? <laughs> All right, Onyx, how is his studies going? He's a C as well. So, okay, they didn't really carry on any good grades. Let's get them to do their homework. I think that's pretty cute. I feel like she would definitely change straight into her everyday wear. There we go, cute outfit. I like her, I like her shoes particularly. They look like pearl shoes. Uh, nice protective shoes. We'll get her to do some homework. Why is this not painted? How long has this been like this? Have you guys been commenting saying, Deli, you forgot to paint this fence for ages and I didn't see it? Apologies. Apologies. There we go. Now we can all, now we'll be in peace. Oh, I love her bedroom. I love these colored walls with the desk and chair. They look so cool together. Okay, so she's doing her homework. Kenny, Kenny Babe's working on this. Oh my God, we are so close to level 10. It's not even funny. And he really needs to go to bed again. Uh, Barbie's doing okay. Um, she Look, she hasn't had a career for a while. I think, is she in third trimester? No, she's still in second trimester. Let's get her to apply a little bit of makeup. Let's maybe go with something nice and easy. Apply makeup, silvers maybe? Let's do silver and pink lips. Or is pink lips gonna be, I want something really soft. Pinks, purples, and golds. What about satin red lips, glossy coral lips? Ooh, mauve eyes. What about this one? Uh-oh, girl ain't feeling too good. I love her maternity wear at the moment. I think it's so pretty with those blue, the blue roses on it in the higher neck, it's very elegant. I feel like the lipstick could have looked a little less like lip balm and more like a lipstick, <laughs> but that's okay, that's okay. I love the powder, the powder is so cool. I love how many rings she always has. Is this her new look? 
Uh, or is that the look we already had on her? Oh, it's quite, um... Wait, I can't tell if that's what she already had or if that's the new look. Is it going to suddenly transform? I think that's what we already had. Damn, girl, you're so good at doing your winged eyeliner. I wish I was as good as you. Squeezing through the door here. Thanks for letting me invite myself in. I am so glad you are home. Want to hang out? Even if you don't, I'll stay here for a bit. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Uh, wait, did we... Did, is that her full makeup done? Just got to go down and see her, her son. Oh, no, it did change. It's become more neutral. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Good stuff. Wait, where did Topaz go? Hello. Oh, Gem and Topaz are hanging out. I love Topaz. I think he's such a cool dude. Uh, oh, did he just leave? Wow, that was a that was a quick visit. Very quick, very quick visit. Now, okay, so he's done. He's filled out the reports. Good stuff. We want to get his logic skill up. A microscope, chess table, or read a logic book. I don't think we... We never got a chess table, did we? But I feel like that would be definitely a worthwhile thing to purchase. So I'm going to I'm gonna do it. I'm going to get a, a chess table for them to work with. Uh, maybe we'll just put this over here. And we can put the chess table here. And yeah, I think that'll I think that'll be nice. So activities and skills, where are we? Just chess table. Hmm. Mm. Let's use the new one. Wait, no, I swear we have one of these. I swear we put one of these in, didn't we? I swear we did. Oh, what happens if you guys are telling me it's there and I can't see it? Okay, fine. We're just going to have another one. If it's already placed, I'm sorry. I've forgotten where it is. Forgotten, not forgotten. Okay. And then maybe we can go with... Ooh, not with the hot pink color. Mm, no, I don't think any of those will do. Could go plain white. Could go with this. I don't think it looks very outdoorsy though. Or we could go purple and pink. Yeah. Or we could go, it's very colorful. You know what, I reckon we can get away with that because it kind of ties into the black chest pieces and also has a bit of pink on it. Ooh, and that light, I sense you guys are probably gonna prefer that just there. Awesome. Well, let's go play some chess. Uh, maybe we can play with Onyx actually. And you guys can have a little bit of brother bonding time because their relationship really isn't, isn't great. I don't think so. Yeah, it's very, very low. Actually, Jem doesn't really get along with any of his siblings very well. Except for Diamond and Margot. Even Margot, their friendship isn't that good. Yay, Pearl finished her homework. She's all ready for school, for high school on Monday. She finished on the Saturday. You go, girl. You go, girl. That's awesome. Upgrade complete! Ken has finished his upgrade. Okay, and we're still not at the point where we've leveled up completely. My goodness, getting to level 10 of rocket science skill is just so hard. Oh my god, 88%. You know what? We're going to get there tomorrow. It's going to be his reward after he has a baby, I think. Okay, you need a shower, Ken. You stink. Get in there. You know what? Even better, I know what you love. We know what you love. You love your man bath. So let's take a bath. Up you go. Then you can go to bed. We might even have some woohoo for a little bit of fun. If you're lucky. I love how the rocket ship even has pink lights on it. See? Look. Well, I think it's technically red. But it looks pink, so we'll just go with that. All right, Kenny boy. Quite the comedy skill. Onyx taking after Topaz. All right, look at this view. Look at that. How would you enjoy having, I feel like this is a really low, oh my God. You could probably like jump from here into the pool through one of these squares. No, you could, no, 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 you wouldn't do that. You could maybe climb over this and drop through here. I'm sure that's what they would have done at the parties. 
All right, so he's sleeping and getting his hygiene up. His hygiene went up really quickly, actually. Okay, let's get you to um, use the toilet. Use that and jump into bed. Uh, okay, she's using the toilet too, I think. Yeah, she's using the toilet. Excellent. Okay. Oh my God, Ken. His midlife crisis 70s t-shirt or oh, shirt is so bad. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> and maybe we'll have a little woohoo with Ken to get his fun up. Always gets the fun up really quickly. Um, and then they can, they can go sweet, sweet dreams. And we're not going to watch them. We're going to give them privacy for once. How are these boys going? I like this. I like their bonding. You know, I could see Onyx and Jem finally getting along a bit. Why aren't you wearing your glasses? Oh, he's in his pajamas. That's why. Okay. Oh, and he's hungry as well. Hmm. Well, what level is he up to? Has he leveled up? No, he's got quite a while until he levels up fully. Uh... Yeah. I mean, their energy is okay. I think they can play for a bit longer. Barbie. Okay, cool. She's going to go woohoo, right? What? Oh, come on, you guys. Why don't you want to woohoo? Like, I know you're super pregnant, Barbie, but take one for the team, girl. <laughs> Off to bed. Oh, my goodness. I'm kind of annoyed by the asymmetrical balance in this room. I kind of want to delete this window. And you know what? Instead of talking about it, let's just do it. Let's get rid of this. We've already got enough windows in this bedroom. I think we need to go bb.moveobjects on. There we go. And we need to put a few of these in. Yeah, I think, I don't know. I just want like a mirrored back wall in the bedroom. I just think it looks cool. Oh, and look at them. Look at the happy couple in their old house. This house is pretty cool though. I think, I think this is nice. And we need to get Diamond her own apartment. Really need to do that build. I might actually work on that build after this. Because that is necessary. Girl, come on. Oh my God, she's huge. She's huge. Okay. Let's woohoo, you guys. Oh, I feel like they're just not cooperating today. Oh my god, was it really necessary to get excited in Jem's room? Like, seriously. The poor guy. <laughs> the poor guy. No wonder he has so many problems with women. He's scarred. Oh, and Pearl's in her bedroom here. Nice. You know what? Why are the lights still on? Uh, auto lights, all lights. There we go. Didn't need to leave them on all the time. That's probably why, why our bills are so big. And I know you guys have been telling me that for a while. And Ruby, stop eating cake. I feel, oh, what's going on here? A little bit of a late night snack. What do you mean friendly introduction? I swear you guys already know each other. So, so. <laughs> oh my God, maybe they don't. What? <laughs> What? Well, we better get get them to know each other a little bit more, if you know what I mean. I know he's a little old for her now, but she could definitely have a crush on him. And this relationship get to a high friendship, and then when she ages up, they could definitely have a little fling. Yeah, let's get these guys to have a moment together. Ooh, Onyx. Onyx is starting to uh, feel like he needs to work out a little bit. Also, you guys, Onyx has braces. See? He has braces. Isn't that cute? Why does he have a girl's voice? Does he have a girl's voice? Maybe that's why he's so shy. Oh, no, I don't think he does. It just sounded like it for a little while. Okay, Onyx, I think you need to go to bed. Go to bed. I know you wanna I know you've hit your teen years and you're feeling a little bit 
a little bit uh, insecure, but that's okay. You know, your appearance is fine. <laughs> you can miss, you can skip the workout. Oh my God, why is this negative? Unsatisfied? From mediocre woohooing? That woohoo wasn't satisfactory, improvement needed. Oh my God, Ken, your wife is so pregnant. The fact she even woohooed with you in the first place. Oh my God, he doesn't even want to sleep with Barbie. Are they having marital issues? <gasps> oh my God, no. Quickly, eat food, eat your feelings, make yourself feel better. That is so sad. <laughs> Uh, Ruby is in a really good mood, so I kind of want her and the butler to just have some time together, you know? Let's give a pep talk. I don't even understand what it means to give a pep talk. What does that mean? That you're energized, like, to hype someone up? Give a pep talk? Oh, he's so handsome. He throws about interests. Tell outrageous story. Probably exaggerated a little bit. Ken's like, I'm watching you, Marcus. I mean, Marco. <laughs> Awkward dad just <laughs> hanging around, just making sure that there's nothing weird going on between these two. He might need to have a stern word to Marco and be like, you do know that Ruby is underage, so don't you get any funny thoughts in your head, mate. He looks exhausted. What is wrong with Ken? I mean, oh, okay, he's super tired. Just go to bed. Okay, Margie, I think, is somewhere around. I don't know. But let's just get you into bed. It, it's time to go to sleep. It's time. Stop trying to sleep in Jem's bed. My God. Oh, wow. He must be having some issues with Barbie. I mean, I guess it can be quite stressful around the time of the baby coming. Hopefully babies. Ask about Korea. So what do you do? Uh, I'm your butler. <laughs> oh, right. Playing the dumb card. Tell a funny story. What? He's boring? He's bored? Oh. He's a butler at Windenburg Butlering Academy. Oh, Tell a gross joke. That won't be boring. Uh -huh. like this one time when I was little, I used to always at my old house knock down all of my doll houses and then my mom would just keep buying me new ones. It was so funny. <laughs> Please tell me he's going to find us funny. He's so attractive. Okay, good, good. We're back on. We're back on. Oh, slide into those DMs. They probably message all the time. Tell a funny story. Uh, Pearl, why are you awake? Oh, she was busting. Doesn't she have an ensuite? Oh, no, she doesn't. She has to use this one. Oh, no, she does have an ensuite. Interesting. She didn't want to use it. Okay. I mean, isn't that Onyx's best friend, that toilet? Oh, and her hygiene just went up as well. Uh, we'll double wash her hands. I feel like she would wash her hands a lot. Yeah. She likes to be nice and clean. There we go. All good. All good. Okay. I mean, it's 2.25 in the morning. I feel like it's just way too early for her to make food. So I would like her to go back to sleep. And Jem is a little bit stinky again. Just stinks all the time, Jem. <laughs> he needs some lessons in hygiene, I think. Oh my god, Ken! What? Oh, Jem's probably like, Dad, stop trying to sleep in my bed whenever you have issues with Mom. Go sleep on the couch. Ruby's getting into Onyx's computer. Interesting, interesting. All right, well, I think Ruby's probably going to want to lift her game a little bit since uh, she's a little bit intimidated by Pearl. What is going on with this bonsai tree? That's getting a bit crazy. Oh my God, this isn't painted either. This house definitely needed a little bit of maintenance. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so everyone, everyone's doing what they need to be doing. Ruby's doing homework at three in the morning. 
well, she's meant to be. The, the thing with Ruby is she doesn't want to put in any effort. She just wants to do well at everything. <laughs> oh, okay. So happy. All right. We'll put that there. She expects everything to be done for her. But she needs to learn that not everything is just given to you. You have to work at it. Can't just spend your parents' money and live in their awesome penthouse and expect life to be a dream. Shabum, shabum. Oh, that could be a dream. Shabum. How about you get a midnight snack? Margie! I can hear her. Where is she? What is she haunting? Oh my goodness. We will need to add Margie to the household. I'm thinking we add her to Diamond's household once we move Diamond out. Um, so she can help bring up the kids. Oh, there she is! She's like, hi, Jim! <laughs> Maybe he can vent to Margie. She's probably a really great woman to, to vent to when you're stressed. Eat cake. He's like, I hear you're doing so well at work, Jim. I think you'll have a promotion soon. Thanks, Grandma. Think of fish. Kudos. Okay, Ruby's still feeling energized. Energized at 4 a.m.? You're crazy, girl. <laughs> You're crazy. She's also a little bit hungry, too. I think, uh, oh. Oh, well, hello there. What are you doing in our bedroom late at night? We're definitely going to get distracted by boys right now. Get to know you a little bit better. Oh, wait, he's in, what? Everyone's in Jem's room. What is it with this boy's room? Oh, don't fall asleep there. Oh my God, what is, what is with this room? Is this like the Zen room? I don't understand. I don't know. Anyways, Ruby, you can go to bed as well. And I think maybe Pearl can get up a bit early. And make some breakfast. Breakfast. Cause she's gonna take a break from fasting. Okay, serve breakfast. She can make a fruit salad, I think. Oh, there's something broken over here. Oh, dishwasher break. Uh, we'll replace that. We'll get that replaced. Tidy that right up. Excellent. And Onyx sleeping is going to need a bit of hygiene soon and hunger. Okay. Okay. I think it's a fairly, fairly happy family. I think everything's going well. Uh, Ruby could go to sleep. I feel like Ruby and Jem could probably get together get along pretty well not get together that would be very odd oh maybe not maybe they're not getting along as well as i thought and pearl here always wearing slippers always very clean and white she is probably the only person you'll ever meet who will never ever get anything on white clothes uh ruby just stop going for the cake <laughs> Also, I think Ruby should definitely cut Pearl's hair and Pearl can have short hair. What do you guys think? I know I mentioned this a few parts ago and you guys seemed pretty keen. So I definitely think we should do that. All right, it's 5 a.m. I'm pretty sure that we can, once this fruit salad is ready, call the household uh, to breakfast. Call the meal. Everybody, breakfast is ready. There we go. Okay, she's hungry. Jem's a little bit hungry. Bobby's definitely hungry. And her energy just isn't... Is not increasing very quickly. All right, family breakfast at 6 a.m. Everybody rise and shine. Yay! Is that bench looking dirty? Yeah, don't worry. Marco shall clean that up. We might have to instruct him though. Is he asleep? Oh, wait, he slept up here on the... This is just... That was just sad that he was asleep. Uh, and, yeah, I think we need to make sure that Marco, who I keep calling Marcus, uh, assigned task, can you please clean? Clean a dirty object. Thank you. I wish they could multitask. Oh, they do! Yay! Yes, awesome. Oh, they're all wearing lots of, like, whites. 
<laughs> I love this music. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to end this part right here. I do have some baby names lined up for the next part. I assume she's going to be having the baby in the next part because it will be the third trimester on a Sunday. That's so exciting. Um, but anyways, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.